Greta Gerwig is under the tent walking down the red carpet along with her, Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie and a lot of other people. Um, if you watch me on TV and hear me talk about movies, you certainly heard me making a lot of noise about American fiction. The day I saw it, I said, this is an Academy Award contender. And of course, now it is. And coming up in a moment, Jeffrey Wright headed down the red carpet as well. So there you go. Questions, comments, concerns, who can I hook you up with? Yeah, well, Mark, go ahead. I definitely have a Barbie question for you. We got to talk about the online revolution that Barbie started this year. So many people resharing America Ferreira's speech. Also, what was I made for with Billie Eilish? Talk to me about what category you think that it's going to prevail in or think might stand the best chance. I think not only can I guarantee you America Ferrera is going to win, but also with that, one of the greatest speeches of all time. I think. I think that's the way, based on the buzz that I've heard just talking to, because this is the first time I really get to, you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of people that voted. And based on what I felt over the last few hours, I think America's probably got it. It's going to be one of the greatest speeches of all time. Want to know why? Because their speech in that movie is one of the greatest speeches of all time, right? Yeah, well said, Mark. Uh, the other big movie of the year, summer 2023, of course, Oppenheimer. In fact, uh, we were calling it the Barbenheimer phenomenon. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. Two movies that are so different in tone and scope. I would just love to get your thoughts on that, Mark. What do you think was behind that whole phenomenon last year? I don't know, but I know culturally, if our world is at a place where people will enjoy Barbie, and going to see Oppenheimer all in the same day. That's the kind of well-rounded world I want to live in. I think we're probably headed the right place. So uh, looking forward to that. There are a lot of other movies. Like Just moments ago, uh, Godzilla minus one. Not exactly what you're expecting on the red carpet, but, but the producers rolled by. You've never seen anybody fanboy out more than that. I practically <laughs> leapt over all of these people to get to know them, to uh, talk about them. Um, all kinds of people. I'm a huge Shawshank Redemption fan. Some of the stars of that walked down the red carpet. Ted Danson walked down the red carpet. All kinds of people coming down. Jamie Lee Curtis, who stopped here a year here we go today to talk to us because she has big Stockton roots. Uh, just breeze by. She said it feels great to be an Oscar winner and not have the pressure of being an Oscar contender. She's already inside, probably uh, enjoying food and beverage, getting ready for the 96th Academy Awards along with you. Back to you. Mark, we know you've been doing this for quite some time. Tell me what is your most memorable Oscars moment? Most memorable Oscar moment, I mean, the, the, there are so many good moments that I could remember, but like, you always like, Jimmy Kimmel said on our show this morning, he said, you hope something goes wrong. And so I guess some of my most memorable Oscar moments are the times when things didn't go exactly right. I'll tell you something behind the scenes that happened about six years ago, just down the pipe, the awning that is over us, it was raining so torrentially that it burst and probably knocked out an entire fleet of camera people, including me. Wow. Oh, Mark, we will check back <laughs> in with you soon. Thank you so much.